India, having achieved the remarkable feat of landing a spacecraft in the moon's southern polar region, now sets its sights on a new frontier, the Sun. On one hand, this journey is a testament to the resilience, hard work, and brilliance of the Indian people. However, on the other hand, it's unfortunate that some individuals in the West and elsewhere harbor feelings of jealousy and resentment simply because a formerly colonized nation is steadily emerging as a superpower. Let's delve further into this matter by examining a recent post on a Chinese state-affiliated media outlet's website regarding ISRO's achievements. This post highlights Chinese specialists expressing their gratitude to India, signaling the potential for collaboration between two emerging economies, both members of BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. However, within the same article, there's an attempt to underscore China's advanced position in various domains, implying that India lags behind in certain aspects. This reflects a mentality prevalent in some quarters in China, where instead of openly admiring India's unique accomplishments, there's a desire to remind others of their own advancements. It's evident that every top space agency around the world possesses distinct qualities, skills, and achievements, and no country, including China, is infallible. The question remains, when will China recognize this fact? Meanwhile, ISRO's remarkable achievements with limited resources and a modest budget remain unparalleled. Turning our attention to the Russian media, they often handle such matters uniquely. An article on India's ambitious space mission, Adigta L1, features Surya Namaskar in the headline, highlighting its potential to mitigate solar threats. The mission aims to capture 1,440 photos daily to forecast solar flares, solar mass ejections, and geomagnetic storms. On another note, individuals like Paula London, who previously questioned India's moon landing, continue to express their negative views. It's unfortunate that such individuals with skewed perspectives have the opportunity to influence many in the UK. On a brighter note, the European Space Agency ESA, has been vocal about its collaboration with ISRO. For Aditya L1, ESA provides deep space communication services and helped validate crucial flight dynamics software. ISRO's journey to Aditya L1, approximately 100 days after launch, is indeed a long one. Regarding India's Chandrayaan-3, the European Foundation for South Asian Studies highlights its significance, given India's transformation from a poverty-stricken country grappling with colonial exploitation to a space exploration powerhouse in just over five decades. Chandrayaan-3's success also holds potential for India's ambitions of establishing a sustained human presence on the moon under the Artemis Accords, granting ISRO the rights to mine the lunar landing area. In conclusion, India's journey to the sun and its achievements in space exploration are a testament to the indomitable spirit, resilience, and quest for knowledge among the Indian people. Despite detractors and naysayers, India's strides in space exploration continue to inspire and pave the way for a brighter future in space science and technology. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep exploring, keep connecting, and keep spreading love across borders. Take care.